So today we're looking at another mini projector, this time by All King. I was a little curious about this one because it's probably one of the most affordable projectors that you can get. And it's even labeled number one bestseller. They're advertising 55,000 hours, full HD, 1080p resolution, 2000 to one contrast, up to 170 inch screen. So that's pretty good for a small projector like this. They're also advertising 55,000 hours for the lamp life. So if you use it for about five hours per day, this should last you about 15 years. It's also gonna work with multiple devices like your smartphone, laptop, PC, PS4, Xbox, DVD players. It's also gonna work with memory cards, USB drives, lots of different possibilities with this one. And then of course, anything that uses an HDMI is probably gonna work on here as well. Currently, this is only $90 on Amazon, plus there's an extra 15% off coupon. It's gonna be tough to beat that price, but I'll leave a link in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. Inside the box, you've got the power cable, pretty small remote control, about the same size as the one for a Fire TV stick, something like that. Audio video cable. Looks like they also throw in an HDMI cable as well. Of course, the user manual. You've also got a quick start guide. Okay, this is a really compact projector here. Right there on the top, you've got your manual focus, keystone adjustment. There's some controls there on the top as well, like power, a back button, navigation arrows, okay button, mode and source buttons as well. There on the back is a remote control sensor, air inlet and outlet as well. Over on the right hand side is where you plug in the power. Left hand side you got a headphone jack, audio video, micro SD card slot, HDMI port, USB and VGA. Right there on the front is your remote control sensor. Looks like you've also got a spot here on the bottom for a tripod. You've got a speaker and the adjustable foot as well. Let's go ahead and get this connected so you can see what the menu and settings look like. I'm gonna test this out on a few different devices and while showing you what the quality looks like, I'll give you what my first impressions are of this mini projector by All King. So once you get everything hooked up, you're gonna see familiar style icons or shortcuts on the home screen to photo, music, movie, and settings. Inside the settings, you can adjust picture mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, noise reduction, and you can reduce the display size if you need to. There's also a sound mode, balance, auto volume, surround sound. There's also a clock setting, on and off timers, sleep timer, and auto sleep. Then you have OSD language, you can restore to factory default, rotate, OSD duration, and there's also software update through USB. You can see you've got the typical input source settings there on the right hand side of the screen. And then depending on what you're watching or playing, you're probably going to want to go and switch the picture mode to get it looking just the way you like. Once you get your favorite streaming device hooked up, it's just a matter of choosing what to watch really. There's so many different good streaming devices out there and the overall picture quality looks like what you would expect from a cheaper projector like this. It's not going to be the greatest out there, but still good enough for your kids, somebody that just got their first projector to mess around with. Then you can always upgrade later on down the road. Sometimes it's nice to just try out a cheaper device like this just to see if you're going to like having a projector in the first place. You'll notice this isn't going to compete with a regular LED TV, but it's actually better than I expected for the price. And while the speaker isn't the loudest on here, it should work for a small to medium sized room. Obviously you'll get better sound if you hook up external speakers or a sound bar, something like that. You can also hook this up to mobile devices. And yeah, the text on here isn't gonna be the sharpest, but you could still probably get by if you had to do a presentation with this, if you had to. I feel like it's best for watching movies or playing games in your theater or game room. This isn't really the best for more graphic intense games, but it's still fun to use on games like Asphalt 9 or using my SNES Mini shown here. Obviously, there's a ton of different gaming devices you can hook up on this, but overall, I feel like you get pretty good value considering just how cheap this entry-level mini projector is. Fan noise on here really isn't that bad either, and I can sort of see why this is one of the most popular or best-selling projectors out there.
So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh,